Pastinas going viral. We're bringing you our family secret pastina recipe from scratch. I'm going to show you how to create a beef broth from scratch and then cook the pastina in it. This amazing little pasta is going to be the most gorgeous thing you've tasted in a while. Today we have some beef stew. We're not gonna be using bone, but you can use bone. It's very flavorful. Today we just have a beef stew. You can also mix the beef and the chicken and make it all in one amazing broth. I'm making a lot more than I actually need for my pastina today. But the beauty of this is that you can store it in the fridge and even freeze it in sealed glass containers. So we've got some carrots, onions, celery, bay leaf, thyme. I also need some parsley. parsley. I love parsley. Yeah. All right. With the stem. With the stem. We're putting everything in. We've got the parmigiano rinds, which will give the broth an amazing flavor. And I really love to add turmeric spice to it. It's really anti-inflammatory. It's gorgeous. It gives it that extra kick. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. We've mixed a hundred year old recipe with some modern twist that we love. For example, the Parmigiano rind is not in our grandma's recipe. The turmeric is not. The thyme is not. But, you know, we also have our own personal taste buds. Exactly. And again, you can make this however you like it, with the spices that you like, with the herbs that you like. Right now, I'm showing you a really basic, gorgeous recipe. We are going to be using a nice soup stock pot. Load it in with washed veggies. Now, you don't have to peel the carrots. The actual peel, as long as it's washed, even if it's got a little bit of dirt, it's all gonna contribute in the broth. Let's cut the ends of this. We're gonna roughly chop them. We're actually boiling this for two hours. And we are going to then filter the broth and boil our pastina into it. And I'm going to show you the way my grandmother made our pastina, which also has a little bit of egg cooked in it. We call it stracciatella. The egg is kind of like, mm, little bits of it. I'm gonna show you exactly how it is. I already know this is gonna be tasting good. We've added carrots, onions, celery. Now I'm going to add two bay leaves. We're adding it to our soup. And parsley. Bam. And the turmeric. Now we add the turmeric and we go on to scraping any ink off of your parmigiano rind and we're adding that too. They're gonna add so much flavor to that broth. And now the beef goes in. You can really add a lot of different cuts of beef that you love. Maybe throw in a bone with some bone marrow. Now cover it with water. Now we take it to a boil. Anything that comes up, any residues from the meat, scoop it out. And then let it boil simmer and then let it stay there cooking on a low medium flame for at least two hours and while this is cooking i'm giving you plenty of time to subscribe ring the notification bell so that you know the moment a video comes out the broth is boiling I'm gonna get rid of all the residues that come up top right just a little bit and now we let it boil at least two hours. The more you boil it, the more you extract all the goods, the more the meat gets tender. You can save the meat and serve it separately. You can even stir fry it afterwards with a little bit of tomatoes, whatever you like. For now, we're doing a broth. It's perfect. Now, we're going to filter it in a different pan and we're gonna use it to boil our pastina. Let's get a strainer, nice and fine. A new pan, strain it on top. Now we're gonna put all the beautiful broth. Super clean, simple, nothing else. That's gonna be our pasta water 
for the pastina. Okay, you see these veggies? We're gonna squeeze them down. You want everything out. We put no extra virgin olive oil. That kind of oil that you see, it's coming from the Parmigiano rind that was melted into it. It's a beautiful green, it's got a little bit of everything. It's really, really soothing, comforting. It's what you need for your pastina. Don't compromise with store-bought things. Make your own and keep it, store it. The filtered broth is now going back to a high boil. And this is the moment the pastina goes in. Break one egg, you whisk it just gently, a few seconds. You want to keep them separated a little bit from one another. Egg whites and egg yolk, not into a cream. We salted the broth already a little bit. Now, since the pasta is cooking in it, we're gonna taste and see if it needs any more. Remember, the pasta absorbs a lot of the salt. Flame off, egg goes in. Flame is completely off. What we do is stir it gently. You don't wanna mix it fast. You want that kind of like web. Beautiful. And now top it off with a lot of Parmigiano Reggiano. Mamma mia! That's beautiful. Mm, just gorgeous. Doesn't this remind you of Nonna? Yeah, it smells so so like it. Mm, è buonissima. It's delicious. Oh, wow. Vero? That's even better than I remembered. <laughs> this is so wow. gorgeous. Mm. Mamma mia. Questa è buonissima. Let me know how your broth comes out. Like, leave a comment down below if you've tried this. How it came out, send me a video on Instagram as well. And see you next time. Now we're gonna eat this. Yeah. Right now. Right now. Yes. I said mm. 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 Wow. Donna mia. È buonissimo. È buonissimo. Mm.